heading out from shore. First of many. Nice. Well, we Okay, we just left shore. We could go up to 100 miles out, and we are rolling, <laughs> as you can see in the video. You can definitely tell. There's Anthony. He had to put a life jacket on because he's not 12 yet. There's Berto on our big adventure, and we just saw a sea lion, but I didn't get him on film. Sorry, no, it's not. There's the shore. There is a coral. There is some. on the Pacific Ocean looking for whales. Say hi, Aunt. We are far from shore. Say hi, Robert. Uh, we're shore. There it is, over there. Let's see if we can get it rocking. There we go. Look at it. <laughs> we'll make it these things watch with that. You better not show them right. We're all doing good. Nobody's sick. Well, there's people on the boat who are sick, but none of us. We're salty ladies, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and salty boys. <laughs> so I guess they saw a whale in the sun there, so we're gonna record and look for a whale spout to come up. Birds or boos. Oh, that's a sea lion. If I'm crowding you, tell me, okay? No, you're not. All right, I'm just trying to stay balanced. No, 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 not at all. Because they don't want to get rusty from the uh, salt. Oh, so they have to be specially treated. So while we're doing this, and you're all waiting for that one elusive whale, <laughs> over here on the left is a special rock. This rock it brought us has lines in it that tell you that this rock used to be on the bottom of the ocean. And because we're right on the San Andreas Fault, literally, the San Andreas Fault literally is running right underneath us. This, we're being, it's being, the North American plate is subducting, the Pacific plate is subducting underneath the North American plate and pushing up this mountain range. How do we know that? Those lines on that rock were all the bottom of the ocean and has been pushed up by the subduction of the two tectonic plates. That is a beautiful example. I was hoping we were going to get on the other side because it's really spectacular. It's straight up in the air. It shows you how the ocean was pushed straight up in the air. And this line here, I know some of you are going to say that that is There's a sea line. <laughs> Next to the buoy, I think, or is that part of the buoy? Never mind, that's part of the buoy, I think. Highway, which is no longer used. Those of you who think it would be fun can go and hike the old highway. There's a pull out on your way back up Route One. Oh, that would be fun. You pull out to the parking lot. It is totally amazing because you walk right there along the cliff, and it's beautiful, beautiful walk. Not very long at all. And if you have and don't have time, maybe come back and do it later because it's an incredible walk. And we have an elusive whale. one whale here, right whale. This boat's 56 feet and weighs 27 tons. The whale is about 35 feet and weighs, uh, that was 40 feet and weighs about 35 tons. He said he thought it would come up where the sun is shining. They're very dense animals. Dense. Bigger, denser than anything else that lived on this earth. The dinosaur was as dense as these whales. You can look on all the way around the boat, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to come up down this way, but that's the direction they're heading is south or southeast. Sometimes they hang around land. Come up behind us. Do you have two? Sorry. Two. One or two? I didn't see it. So, so now you want a cooperative whale. Yeah. A whale that's going to be willing to show itself over and over again. 
found a shy one, didn't it? I love that movie with Gregory Peck. Best old, old footage of sperm whales that they were hunting. That's real footage from a real hunting, real whaling boat. Good footage, sad for the whales, but good footage. Yeah, nobody does unless they're kayakers. Cars have gone off that cliff. I bet. At night, Ooh. they're drunk. At least three or four cars. Oh have been fish. Not good. good. I would say that's not a good dive. <laughs> that's a very bad situation. It might be a fatal one. Most, they're all. Least. All of them were fatal. They were, the fire people were very happy when they closed that road finally. <laughs> Sometimes when they're elusive like this and they're just by themselves, they could have a cast in them and we just don't see it until they show themselves again and again. The calf can't swim a lot very well alone by itself. So the calf rides on the back or on top of the side flipper of the mom. She pulls it along. And she's very, very protective. She'll stay down longer. How long can this stay? Not very long. Like seven minutes. Not like deep diving animals really? that can stay down in an hour. Oh, sperm whale? Can you see a big whale? It's called a big whale. Alright, you want to come up? Yeah. Right now we're by the old Devil Slide, which is right up there. They built a tunnel to go through the mountain now, so Devil Slide is gone. And a whale was spotted, but we haven't seen. We saw one blow spout. Anthony saw part of it, but we haven't seen anything since close to the shore because they're, as they stay along the shore pretty good. So we're keeping our eyes open, but so far there's only been one sighting and nobody saw it but Anthony. There's old Highway 1 up there in the new tunnel the beach. The shoreline. South of Pacifica. No whales to be seen. Well, we got some sad sailors heading back to shore. We saw no whales on our trip. Anthony saw a little bit of a spout, but that was it. There's our naturalist, Susan. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Sad, whaleless day.